Good morning, GMS. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Alice. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of April 17, 2023. If you plan on doing athletics next year, go to the Athletic Physical Night on Monday, May 8th at Clark Pleasant Middle School Fieldhouse from 6 to 8 p.m. The cost is only $22, and your sports physical is good for all sports next school year. If there are any sixth graders interested in Camp Invention, you can register at invent.org forward slash camp. The dates are June 19th through the 23rd. We start island this week. Remember to have your Chromebooks charged and do your best work. To any girl or boy who, looks, who likes futsal, there are games every Sunday from 2 to 4 at the high school in the activity complex. It is completely free. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and the JMA sports update. Have a great week, everybody. Uh, if you had a choice, what animal or bird or ocean animal would you ride into battle with? The water fountains. The water fountains are. The water's pretty good here. It is pretty good. It tastes pretty yummy. Yeah. It tastes like water. Yeah. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Harmony Gregory here with 6th grade Special Education Instructor, Mrs. Pitcock. How are you doing today? Great. How are you? I'm good. Can you start telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I have been a teacher now for 20 years. I have three kids, a 10-year-old and um, two 8-year-old twins. And if any of you went to Westwood, you probably know my son, Kellen. Uh, he is quite well known over there okay what are your favorite things to do outside of school outside of school i like to read and just hang out at my house i like to read listen to podcasts that's pretty much it i like to read too what is your favorite holiday and why Oh, I've been thinking about this. Um, I think my favorite holiday is really Christmas, just because I get two weeks off school, <laughs> and I just get to be at home, read, hang out with my kids and my cats. Okay. What is one of your hidden talents? Oh my goodness. I don't think I have any hidden talents. Uh, I'm crafty and I quilt when I have free time, so maybe that's a hidden skill. Okay. What is your dream vacation? My dream vacation, I want to go to Europe um, and England and travel over there. I've been to New Zealand, but I've never been to Europe, so I would love to go see Paris. That would be the dream. That sounds fun. Thank you for coming on our show today, Mrs. Pickcock. Have a great week. Thank you. You guys as well. Bye. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and fun stories of the week. I'm Dexter. And I'm Harmony. Starting off with number one. According to Kid News, archaeologists in Kenya have found old stone tools, but who used them is a mystery. In the past, scientists assumed that our direct ancestors were the only tool makers. But two big fossil teeth found along with the tools at the Kenyan site belong to an extinct human cousin known as Paranthropus. According to a study published on February 9th in the journal Science. According to Dago News, a giant mass of brown seaweed called sargasm is heading toward North America. Experts estimate it is over 5,500 miles long and weighs, around, and weighs around 10 million tons. The seaweed is expected to wash ashore on beaches in the Caribbean and Florida in late spring or early summer of 2023. The Great Atlantic Sargasm Belt as it is known, is not new to the Atlantic Ocean. However, since 2011, the seaweed blooms are becoming noticeably larger. The scientists suspect that runoff from farm fertilizers in major rivers like the Mississippi and the Amazon may be feeding the seaweed. Warmer ocean temperatures caused by climate change may also be a contributor. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week, GMS. Welcome to sports. I'm Noam. Let's look at this week's home events.
On Tuesday, April 18th, there will be girls tennis versus Decatur Middle School starting at 5 o'clock p.m. On Wednesday, April 19th, there will be go boys golf also versus Decatur Middle School starting at 4 p.m. That's all for this week's home events. Have a good week. Hello, GMS. Welcome to this week's weather forecast. Now, I've been, I know it's been like a long time since I've done this. It's mid-April, and last time I did it was mid-March, but... Listen, you're going to get it every week from now on. I'm not going to quit anymore. Anyway, this is the week of uh, April 17th to April 21st. On Monday, it is a high of 48 degrees. Pretty chilly considering we're in April. And considering uh, it was 78 the day I filmed this, but 22 miles per hour, seven, 17, or sorry, 47 precipitation. So it's a cloudy, rainy day. Not the best, but it's Monday, so of course it is. But Tuesday, it's getting a little warmer. 62 degrees Fahrenheit high. You can probably just go outside. I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. It's really warm today, but 10 miles an hour wind, no precipitation. The next day, it's just getting slowly warmer. It's climbing up the ladder. It's 70 degrees high, uh, 59 degrees low, 12 miles an hour. I mean, this is Wednesday is like, it would normally be the worst day of the week, but thankfully we get early release, so I guess it's better. Uh, Thursday, it's gonna be really warm. You could probably go outside and play. Uh, assuming you don't have any assignments, 15 miles an hour, 25% homework, but you got to get that homework done. And then Friday, it's cloudy, 71 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really pretty warm, colder than the day before, and it's cloudy, but still really warm. And you got a decent amount of precipitation, so it might rain, but you're probably fine. And then you got 46 low, so like if it does rain, you could just like go inside and play video games or something. That's all for whatever this week. Thank you.